Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, I'm very excited. The Jack specific Super Mario stuff is, is just such a guilty pleasure to me. You walk in the store, you find it, usually no problemos. And today's going to be no different because we're looking at the Switchback Hill playset and, of course, the add on set as well. This was recently revealed at. Comic-Con, it's kind of been you know, in and out, league, yada, yada. But, uh, yeah, they're starting to hit uh, Walmart store shelves now and also Target. So you can pretty much go anywhere and grab these two sets. But, uh, yeah, they are a lot of fun. I love the 2.5-inch play sets. I love the 4-inch Mario. I'm a big Mario fan. That's pretty much the only video games that I can play at this uh, day and age. And Ninja Turtles, too, of course, like the new Shredder's Revenge. But uh, here is the barcode for the playset if you'd like to go out and fight it have an employee scan it and then of course also the switchback hill diorama set these are basically add-on accessories packs whatnot to really build out the world of your super mario shelf and yeah they do a, a fantastic job uh, and this set I'll share some thoughts. I have a few qualms here and there. Usually it's pretty straightforward, but I have some minor suggestions. And, of course, here is the barcode as well. So, like I said, I am uh, very excited to check these out. It's nice to get some new Mario sets. Hopefully they got a lot more on the way. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Insert controller number two. This is a look at the brand new Jack Specific Switchback Hill playset and add-on diorama for Super Mario 2.5. Let's go. So we'll talk about the add-on pack first. And basically you get 5 items. And I'll tell you that being that it's an add-on pack, I would love to have an extra base panel to go with the actual level playset just to really expand upon that world. But you do get a bullet bill. I have a dozen of these bullet bills over the years. They're always painted nicely. They have minimal articulation in the hands, but they're always just very well done. It's pretty straightforward. It's a bullet bill. This is a new item. This is awesome. It's the cannon, which, of course, shoots bullet bills or red bombs or whatever you want to do. But, uh, yeah, it has a minimal articulation, kind of just rocks to and fro. But I like the skull on there. And you can actually fit a bullet bill in there, and it stays upright. So that in and of itself is video game perfection brought to life. I love that. He just shot right out. And he's aimed at Mario. Speaking of which, you get a Tanuki suit Mario, or you want to just say raccoon. He hit a leaf. It's the leaf Mario, right, at this point. So we've seen this guy before. I think I have a dozen of these as well by this point. And then you have a Goomba. And I'll tell you right now, I have more than a dozen of Goombas over the years. And yeah, you get a little articulation out of him. You can do his little da -da 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 -da, you know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. It's always nice to have more Goombas. Can't complain about that. Now you have the platform. And usually in these platforms, you got the arrow. You have the place where you're going to uh, attach it to the level play set. But it is nice and ratchet. It goes up and down. There you go. You can hear that lovely sound and back up again. Now, I will tell you that uh, it works great. It's a little top heavy. Of course, you really need to fix it to the base in order for it to really work. Yeah, you don't want to be having to push it up against the wall or something like that to really keep it upright. This right here, I wish this spun so that it could signify up and down. Like you could have two different ones. You know what I mean? So looking at the play set, you can see that you open up the box and again, I love seeing this. This takes me back to old school play sets. Everything's wrapped up in little packages, little poly bags and such. And it just that gets you all excited for uh, assembling, right? So you do get a number of pieces for this play set. And in traditional Mario 2.5 inch play set fashion, yeah, you get Mario and you get a bunch of different accessories, different characters, and a lot of little platforms and such, which you don't have to adhere to what the box says. You can put them every which way. But in this particular playset level box, you get another platform. It's the same exact platform as the one that comes in the accessory box, except that this would have been a perfect opportunity to have the playset accessory box, one arrow going up, and then they have the level one going down. That way, it could have been uh, two different things. You know, when you hop on it, usually you can go up and down. It, it just varies on which Mario game you're playing. But uh, either way, they're still pretty cool. But I just wish you could change that, right? You get two accessories, little platforms, right? Little grass 
nice design to them. Not much going on on the back or the underside, but you can see they simply just fit into the pegs that are on the base level platforms. And this is always cool. We've definitely seen this before, but it's nice to see again, as always, coin box. You can never have enough. So you can take your basic Mario figure. So you got a Tanuki and then you got a basic Mario and you can have him hit the coin block. And uh, there you go. So that just pops right up. That's so much fun. I can't even tell you how awesome that is, especially when you get these things all place it out, right? Now, you do get another bullet bill. You do get another cannon. That's always good to see, too. You can really build out the level. But this time around, you get a clip. And this is what really makes this playset stand out in terms of activating enemies, right? So it clips onto your bullet bill, and I'll show you everything, but it, it, you can it's fix it so it looks like he's uh, shooting out of the cannon, which is really nice. You get two bases, right? This is going to be the floor of the level, and they're just going to simply fit together. I'll show you how all that works. It's very easy. Also, most of these things come apart real easy, so you can deconstruct them, reconstruct them, whatever you want to do. And you have the backgrounds. So you got the clouds. and everything. You know what? Let's just put this thing together. <laughs> And of course, here's everything put together. And one thing I like to include usually with the diorama sets, you have this backdrop, right? Fortunately, this one has holes and, you know, the twisty tie holes and everything. But you could still utilize it, put it in the back, and it kind of makes a nice 3D effect for your Super Mario playset. You really just have to do a better job of hiding things. You could even take this platform, which... You know, like I said, you can customize, you can put it every which way, but it's kind of cool. You can put it in the background, right? Have a, a secret area, right? Maybe there's some coins back there. Right here, the cannon, not a lot of places, not a lot of portholes to really put things on on this base. You can kind of mix and match, do what you want, put a Goomba here, right? And have him uh, up there, and then you can take uh, Boom Boom, which is a new figure, right? I'll show him in detail in just a second but you can put him up there you can put a bullet bill facing that way or you know you can have it to where uh, you know if you want to do a fix another cannon or put it right next to this cannon like it's a wall of cannons right they definitely do that aiming straight at mario so the sky is the limit in terms of customization here but uh, in turning him around yeah you could actually aim at mario obviously they always shoot towards wherever mario is there so you take your basic mario figure he's running along the level dodging all the uh, bullet bills and uh, it's it's just a lot of fun you know have the goomba walk in there and and drop down now one thing I've, and i've said this since the beginning i would love to have a smushed goomba i think that that would be so cool or like a, a jumping effect. I don't know. You can do a lot of... Jax is pretty good. As far as Boom Boom goes, I'm actually pretty impressed by this figure. They've given him a little bit extra added articulation, but then also subtracted articulation as well. So basically, the arms move and he has wrists now, but the legs and the head don't work. But overall, he, he's a fantastic figure. That's a nice little mini figure in the 2.5 inch. And then you have the white Yoshi, who I would actually call light gray Yoshi. He's not really a white Yoshi, but he, he looks nice, but he has a really hard time displaying because he likes to topple over he's very top heavy and the stand really doesn't do much so Jax if you could somehow fix the stand or give a bigger stand that would be great the best part about this set I love is that the bullet bill looks like he's shooting out of the cannon straight for Mario so you can move that back and forth be careful about the coin block right there you don't want to knock that off I actually didn't have that pushed all the way in so that's my fault it goes in there really nicely and like I said once these platforms are in, you can really move them around. If it's not secured, the well, Goombas are going every which way. But if they're not secured, yeah, yeah they're going to topple over. Much like if you have this one in the back with any type of figure on there, it will not stay on its own. But like I said, you can customize it. You can make the world what you want. And uh, you have all the extra levels, all the extra worlds, all these characters that you have collected over the years really makes you super mario makering the heck out of this thing right that's pretty cool so you can put these cannons there's no right or wrong way to play with that that's part of the fun of mario you can have these every which way and that's what i absolutely love about these sets so get all your characters get all the levels get all the little items whatnot coin blocks and uh, have yourself a really nice time oh and one more thing i do keep these from time to time i really wish that these were real in the box you see it's just cardboard but if you utilize it well and you don't rip it 
you can have it to where, yeah, it looks like there's extra blocks in the level. So, yes, I highly recommend this set. I love what they do with 2.5-inch Marios, 4-inch Marios. There's a couple things here and there I really would have changed, you know, like just to have little nuances, little, little subtleties here and there. But for the most part, uh, yeah, it's another great Super Mario level. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Jack Specific World, the Super Mario 2.5-inch playset for the Switchback Hill also, the add-on sets. Every single figure that you can muster for 2.5 inch will be compatible with the set, much like all their other levels. But you've heard my thoughts, so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything World of Super Mario. What are you guys' uh, favorite reveals from SDCC, right? Uh, there's a lot of them in there. That's pretty cool. I'm anxious to get the rest of the couplings, right? Morton, baby. I'm happy he's a coming. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, just keep bringing on these Mario figures. I absolutely love them. And I'll tell you this. At the end of the year, as I do my wrap-up and everything, I will pull out every single Mario playset figure, everything I got and I'll make a big giant video of all the different play sets. And all. It's going to be a big one. I promise you that. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.